So some things in life are impossible. Man flying by his own accord, I'm Jiminy Gav to say impossible. Spider-Man being the next Avengers movie, I'm Gav to say impossible. Someone actually becoming Spider-Man, I'm Gav to say impossible again. The next thing I'd like to say is possible, but I don't think I'll ever get the chance to fuck Katy Perry in those big old boobies. You know, I'm going to have to say that's impossible, but Katy, if you're out there, you know, listen to this commentary, you have a thing for sweaty internet nerds that make YouTube commentaries, send me an inbox. But the last thing of all, that is the most impossible of them all, is getting a decent gameplay in Black Ops 2 without using a silenced weapon. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Teacups. I welcome you to a Black Ops 2 commentary, and as you heard earlier, it's going to be about uh, unsilenced weapons today, and my opinion on them, but before I do that, uh, let's talk about my perk setup and my gun setup, because this is a different setup, I'm not using my normal, like, you know, ghost, hardline, toughness, dexterity, and engineer, I'm using flat jacket, lightweight, toughness, scavenger, tack mask, scorpion, with a laser sight, and a bouncing bay. and I have to say, I absolutely love, fucking love this setup, the scorpion, for one, is an amazing gun, I slagged this gun off when it first, like, when the game first released, because it was one of the, um, like default classes I hate it the perk setup that's with the default class for this gun does not do it justice this is an amazing SMG I'm gonna go out there and say this I think this is my second favorite SMG I really do love the MP7 still but this is still amazing this gun uh, in my opinion is better than the MSMC I don't know why a lot of people rate the MSMC I hate that gun it's better than the Vector by Miles and it's better than the PDW it's amazing and it's um, an SMG you don't have to run with really many attachments the only reason I'm using laser sight here because you know, I had one spare slot so I thought you know what I might as well use this laser sight because this gun is an absolute burst fire beast not burst fire hip fire beast you know you walk around corners you don't need to aim in because this is just so fucking powerful now let's talk about this gun a little bit the high rate of fire is amazing even though it's got low damage it makes up with it the high rate of fire it's got great range this for an smg has amazing range like if you slowly burst fire this across map you will fuck bitches up it's an, an absolute amazing weapon and the little tips on like attachments don't use the science so it takes off too much damage and range that makes it near off useless um, if you're going to use attachment definitely use um uh, hip fire definitely use a laser sight absolute amazing don't use extended mags because this thing just eats through bullets it makes extended mags near enough worthless you end up like wasting too many bullets if you're going use some sort of other perk definitely use fast mags because this gun eats through bullets like a motherfucker and it takes like a year to like reload don't use rapid fire because it just eats through bullets too quickly and with the lag conversation in this game it just i don't know i think it minuses damage in my opinion even though it seems to add it don't use rapid fire don't use a sight this gun is beautiful perks that i'm using lightweight amazing you're moving fast you get around those corners easily i'm not using ghost anymore because there's no point using ghost with an unsilenced weapon um flat jacket absolutely amazing in my opinion it's better than engineer because you survive so many betties you survive so many claymores so many um uh, c4s and that it's uh, it keeps me alive more times than dexterity would um toughness and engine no toughness and scavenger scavenger is a need for this gun because it eats through bullets like paris hilton eats through the penis it takes bullets like a motherfucker right so you definitely need scavenger and the way i'm using the betty in this game the betty gets me loads of kills definitely use some sort of equipment in this game or equipment or a lethal as they call it um they will get you very very many many kills so you have to use a scavenger for that um toughness is a perk i have to run nowadays because i've been trying to use guns without toughness and <laughs> you, you lose so many more gunfights than you win because your gun just goes miles up in the air if you're not running toughness so i'm always running that 24 7 now and tack mask is absolutely amazing tack mask is in my opinion the best perk in the game because those annoying shock charges flashes and stuns are now meaningless <laughs> i don't like i've been shocked a load of times since i've been using this and you don't get shocked at all you don't get any of the effects i've been flashed and stuns but from what i can remember i don't think you actually get flashed or stunned at all i think it might last maybe a maximum of a second but it's so good surviving those confrontations. And in the background, I end up getting killed by my own <laughs> bouncing bait. I was kind of pissed by that. Yeah, but this is definitely a setup you should check out. It's absolutely amazing if you're going to try and get a gameplay about an unsilenced weapon. But as I said before in the silencer commentary, it is so hard in this game to get a good gameplay of our silenced weapon by my standard. My standards ain't that great. For me, free for all with a silenced weapon, you know, 30 and 1, 30 and 2, maybe 30 and 3. Flawless, like, free throws, in my opinion, is a good free throw. With an unsilenced weapon, it is so fucking hard. Because I get on so many kill streaks. I, one time I got on the 20 kill streak the other day and I thought, shit, you know, this game is so much better without an unsilenced weapon. It was not. Because I ended up going 20 kill streak, the closest guy was on 11. I ended up losing that match 29, I went 29-25. Because I just kept dying and dying and dying over and over again with a silenced weapon. Because 
everyone in this game have, I don't know, they have the reactions of a motherfucker. Like, because there's no sound horror in this game, everyone has got their eye reactions a lot better, and they're constantly looking at the radar 24-7. Because in the other game, people used to mix it. They used to have, like, they used to watch the radar, and they used to sound horror. You know, they used to do one after the other, and sometimes they would miss things. In this game, people are constantly watching the radar, so you cannot, it's just so hard to get away without using an unsilenced weapon in this game. Like, from my experience, like, using silencers and not using silencers, I haven't seen that much of a damage loss. Like, up close with the SMGs, with a silencer and a non-silencer, I haven't really seen so much damage loss at all, really. Maybe one or two more bullets, but in most cases, there's no damage loss. Oh, at long range, obviously, there's a damage loss, but most of the free-for-all games are played at medium and short range. That, in my opinion, makes a silencer too powerful in those circumstances. Because what I hate is when you get into those situations, like I've talked about before, when you get the one bang. You know, when you start shooting someone, they just turn around and just give you the one bang and you're dead. Um, <laughs> what pisses me off more and actually makes me rage in this game is when I'm using the unsilenced weapon and my opponent is using a silenced weapon and he just gives me the one bang. That makes me rage so much because I just sit there thinking, why the fuck am I using this gun unsilenced? The reason why I'm using this unsilenced is because I want that added damage bonus and I should be winning that gunfight. That really pissed me off. That rustles me the wrong way. I absolutely get absolutely pissed off about that. So really in conclusion, as I said before, I feel the unsilenced weapons in this game are a huge disadvantage to silenced weapons. I feel there should be some major balance in there because honestly, I don't even know why I'm using these guns unsilenced. Like, it's, it's a handicap really if you use a gun unsilenced in this game. You get two, more kills with a silenced weapon than an unsilenced weapon and that kind of annoys me really it, it encourages more campy gameplay and more stealthy gameplay instead of the more you know arcadey rusty style that used to be Call of Duty but we all have our different opinions how this game plays out and that's just my opinion and the gameplay is a little bit short um, it's coming to an end I hope you've enjoyed I've been Mr. Tcops hope you rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time